My name is Billy Lurk, though there aren't many people who remember. For years, I stayed hidden, captain of a ship called the Dreadful Whale. I was a smuggler, fence, and maybe traitor, depending on who you ask. Our names are always overshadowed by the words whispered after them. If you hide from the world long enough, eventually nobody remembers you. Then you're alone, living with your choices. But I could never forget the man who pulled me up from nothing. Dowd, the Knife of Dunwall. A name called out by the desperate or the dying. The assassin who ended one empress and saved another. Shane burns inside you for a long time. When I betrayed Dowd, he let me live. I left Dunwall and my own name behind. For years, I wondered if I was worth forgiving. For years, I laughed at myself for even wanting a killer's forgiveness. Sometimes mercy cuts deeper than any knife. Now I know that forgiving is something you do for yourself as much as for the people who hurt you. I know Dowd is in Karnaka, and I'm going to find him. Every night for weeks, the same terrifying dream. A street fight, my arm dead and lying in the gutter, my eye gouged out by a Grand Guard sword. But when I wake up, they still hurt for hours. Gives me the creeps. This always brought me a little comfort. You stole this for me, didn't you, Deirdre? Now it's all I have left of you. Another relic from the old days. Still holds an edge, at least. That boxing club in the Albarca Baths is my last lead. Dowd has to be there. That club is run by a gang that call themselves the Eyeless. They claim to fight using black magic. If that's true, then Dowd might be involved. Everyone in Dunwall was afraid of him then, but not me. I've been searching for months. I know you're here, Dowd. Somewhere. Burglary, spying, picking pockets. Dowd taught me more than just killing. It can keep me afloat, for now. This station hasn't been used for years. Hiding the dreadful whale wasn't easy, but it's safe so far. What can you tell me today, my little gutter friends? The friend is sincere. The friend hears us. One of us. One of us. The ugly and big is still
All right. The old Alparka baths shouldn't be far. she says. Then she'll leave him. I can wait. Captain says to find out what the Eyeless Gang's doing inside the Alpark. <laughs> 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 I've heard a few things about the Eyeless. Some of it strange, none of it good. Duff's hawking a new bone charm tonight. Says it stirs up your vitals. Gets the juices flowing through your veins. Keeps your head clear for the fight. You reckon I should get one? No, no, no! Don't waste coin on Duff's whalebone gugas. They don't do squat. Want your vitals stirred? Get some scarlet night shade. Rub it on your shirt. You're on the another day like that. Outsider's eyes. Dowd. They're making him fight? I have to get him out of there. This thing must be keeping Dowd's power suppressed. If I turned it off, nothing could stop him. Locked. Whoever runs this place must have the key. the black 
black magic. Root? Why don't you roll in sardine paste and swim through hagfish waters instead? It's a less painful death. Well, you think I can't take him? I can hold my own in the ring. I knife bigger blighters than him when I was a bottle street runner. And for less coin than I'll make when I win this match. You won't win. The brute cheats the eye with his speed. His moves are a blur. It's unnatural. Trust me, you won't land a blow. Nobody can fast. You're just nice jealous. You, my if I want to dance, then I can twirl around all at want. Just try and stop me. <sighs> Hello. Charlatans don't know squat. Still, it's all I've got now. Bone charms, parlor tricks, and a handful of potions and tinctures. The bear is to whiff the void. What's, so what's going on? What's that? It was coming from here. Be close. Shut up, Sid. Someone's ah, shooting no. at us. Seek me out one day. 
I didn't think it would be like this. You were hard to find. How did you end up here? So let's talk somewhere else. The Eyeless have more secrets than you know. I've got a ship. Or what's left of it. The Dreadful Whale. It's docked below the Akintila repair station. Doubt I... Say whatever you want to say, Billy. That you're here now is enough. I need your help. Like old times? Those days are gone. This is something bigger. One last job. I can do it. Who's the Mark? The one responsible for it all. The cults. The black magic. This mark on my hand. We're gonna kill the black-eyed bastard himself. What? The... You want to kill the outsider? You want to kill God? I finally find him and the old man's got me jumping right back into this occult shit. Dowd can explain himself back on the dreadful whale.
When I first caught sight of Dowd, I was just a broken kid, staying alive out of spite. He cut the throats of three men without making a sound, leaving only blood and death in his wake. I don't know what I was hoping for when I followed him that night, but he shared his strange magic with me. And more than that, his skill, his time, his trust, and sometimes his secrets. Now he's not the man he was. Here in his final days, he's got wounds that won't ever heal and regrets as sharp as mine. I know how much that carves you up inside, but I found him, and he wants me to help him make up for a lifetime of sins by killing a god. The Abbey teaches us that the outsider preys on weakness, that the void is the source of doubt, heresy, and suffering that the outsider is to blame for all our ills. Who knows? Maybe they're right. The same dream. My arm hacked away, my eye hollow and burning. It still aches. Let's hope it's not some kind of omen. Let me tell you something about the void, Billy Lark. It touches the minds of the dreaming and the dying alike. And sometimes, Dreams can only tell you what you wanted to forget. I know who you are. Why are you here? What do you want from me? People usually want something from what me. What in the void? But you don't want my mark, do you, Billy? So I will return something you lost. Wait, what are you? The world was wounded around you. And you carry the scars. You will never be the same. I wonder if you'll like him. What did he do to me? Of course he shows up now. Shit! Shit! He took my arm! And my face! Is it because of the dreams? Or doubt? What happened to you? The outsider did this. What did he say? I've had bad dreams for a while now, and he was never there. But I feel good, strong, like all those years ago when we ran together. He didn't offer me his mark, just said some cryptic shit, and left me with this. I never knew what the black-eyed bastard wanted. Be careful. The outsider's gifts come with a price. You won't know until it's already been paid. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't have much choice. Neither do I. My connection to the Void is fading. We've got to act soon. Before it takes me forever. You found a way to do it. To kill the Outsider. How? I spent years looking for an answer. I searched the aisles. Tracked down a dozen crazy cults. But there's more to the Eyeless. They've got a relic. The knife that made the Outsider. Thousands of years ago, it's here, in Karnaka. A knife. So you want me to steal it? Soon. First, we need to find out who leads the Eyeless, and where they keep that knife. They're powerful people, wealthy or noble or both. I don't know their names, but they all have an esoteric tattoo that sets them apart. Those low-ranking thugs at the boxing club talked about getting inked in the Red Camellia in the Upper Syria district. I'll go there and see what I can find. Try to rest out. I couldn't do this on my own anymore, Billy. Thank you. All our lives, the Abbey of the Everyman tells us to hate him. For once, they're right.
Maybe I should have it looked at. I don't think it's supposed to fester like that. Oh, a little pus is all right. This? This looks like the place. Trade in some wages for a bottle of whiskey. What are they mixing these inks with? This must be where the eyeless get inked. I always wanted to join a cult. All right, if this is what it takes. Don't flinch. Sean Yun, the singer, and a city administrator, Ivan Jacoby. These are high-profile people. There's a third leader mentioned, but no name. Hmm. Plagued spirit. The Eyeless's favorite drink, I guess. They even have their own saloon.
I might look different, but they'll still recognize me from the posters. Best avoid them if I can. Hold up. I was supposed to interview Sean Yun hours ago, but it's already noon, and he's a no-show. The Boreal Songbird is sure living up I've to his reputation as a... But there's Let no sense. She likes yeah, red camellias. I need to find that flower shop. That's I've waited three days to see him before. It's worth every second as a stuck at the window like he did yesterday. Once we learned that from old There's a flower shop. Ray's apartment must be above. for a house full of servants when they don't do anything. <laughs> Leave at once, or I'll call for help. Exhausted. It's just been one gala after another, and the season's just getting started. A ritual killing A secret knock, really? when they don't do anything. Huh. Two months, she says. And she'll leave him. <laughs> I can wait. That was lunch. I'm a filthy <laughs> blood That's all I'm gonna say. 
Shit reeks. Gotta get a spare uniform. Then I can go. Put my feet up. Isn't it dinner time yet? Man could starve on this shift. I'm going to call for help. Be on your way. Now. I told her. Leave me alone! No. What? Here? Next time. Let's get this shindig started. I want to grab an elbow with Molly at the public. Everything ready? Almost. I activated the floor security. Nobody's getting in there without a world of trouble following them. Good. Remember what happened last time an uninvited guest wandered in there looking for uh, someone there? Anybody? Don't maybe search the whole place. The Void. I've never seen it, but I heard enough from Dowd to know it's not a place you forget. fortune to hear him say, but that's not why I'm here. Never seen a safe like that before, but I've cracked play. Where the ox rush blooms? <laughs> Can't fool a machine. Only Shan Yun's voice can open this thing. Been much of a singer.
I can play one of Shan Yun's songs with this. I just... just need to find one. your guard. Right, boys? Stay sharp. safe like that before, but I've cracked plenty. This shouldn't be too hard. Never been much of a singer. I can play one of Shan Yun's songs with this. I just need to find one. I hear this song everywhere. It's popular. This one. Sean Yun. Normally I'd have to pay a fortune to hear him sing, but that's not why I'm here. The void. 
I've never seen it, but I heard enough from Dowd to know it's not a place you forget. a chance anyway. of this if I had a timepiece I'd know I'm gonna guess what three yeah hmm an expensive hobby Never seen a safe like that. Hmm. Not this one. Only Sean Young's voice can open this thing. and call for help. Holy shit! What's going on?
should rent another boat sometime soon. I should just run it up. Mm. Calibron Plaza, huh? I should pay Ivan Jacoby a visit. She says. Then she'll leave him. I can wait. This is one This is one more complaint. I'm just going to fast. I am tired of all this hullabaloo. I pay good money to make sure. Make sure that trap door stays closed. I don't want to fall through in the middle of my speech. You heard, Mr. Jacoby. Close the damn trap door already. Yes, sir. Citizens of Karnaka, I'm here today to demand the repeal of the Reappropriation of Abandoned Burials and Grave Sites Act. Regraving disrespects the deceased and shames the living. Would you want your loved ones to... Uh, no, that's not it. The graving disrespects the deceased and shames the... Ah, no. Feeling. Graving disrespects the deceased and shames... Where's Winstead with those papers? I should give him my house key when he gets here so he can bring me another coat. This one's filthy. The graving. Grave. Terrible thing. But grave. Wait. I think I have it. Citizens of Karnaka, we're here today to speak for those whose voices are gone from us. Every time we destroy a grave and erase a name from our cemeteries, a silent scream resounds through the void. Would you want your loved ones? No, that's not it either. Perhaps I should start my story about Martin Laro's threadbare shroud. Maybe that joke about the false teeth. No, scratch that. Jokes about the dead are too risky. The audience might think it's in poor taste. Or that spooky story. Uh, uh the knocker at the window. Deliciously sinister. No thinking. Citizens of Karnaka. Beloved citizens of Karnaka. Oh, well. Can't say I didn't warn him. Another day like yesterday. We gotta get back to Dunwall. For good. And I feel so bad. I haven't seen the kids in two years.
It has to be the knife. It's in a bank vault. Just my luck. Looks like I need to find that, that second key. Splendid idea. idea. <laughs> A lifetime ago, I felt the power of the Void through Dowd. All of us who were close to him could do unnatural things. Move from rooftop to rooftop in the blink of an eye. Fall on our enemies and slit their throats, like shadows sharpened to a fine edge. I made Dunwall bleed for all it had done to me, to the ones I loved. Now the Outsider has given that back, for reasons I don't understand. But it feels good. We killed so many rich bastards who thought nothing of hurting us. It felt like justice. Is the outsider to blame for what we did? Does corruption come from the void or from our own hearts? Witches and charlatans wearing necklaces of fingers and teeth. Cities sliding into chaos. Now the eyeless peddle black magic in the streets while their leaders 
keep even more dangerous secrets locked away. They've got a relic that turned a boy into a god centuries ago. A knife that might be the only way to destroy that god. The outsider knows I intend to steal it. Does he know what else I intend to do? You gave me this for luck, my sweet Deirdre. I don't know if it's ever worked that way, but maybe it will this time. <laughs> I'm ready to rob the bank. It's time. Soon, you'll have the knife that can end him. It didn't kill him before. It made him into a god. Then, it can unmake him. The bank is owned and managed by Dolores Michaels. I've cased the place and talked to some people, and there are a few ways inside. Others have tried and failed to rob it before. They didn't have the focus we do. We're not after coin. How do you plan to get inside? There are three possible ways. The roof, the trash disposal, and the sewers. All of them might work. Once I'm in, I need to find the vault. The knife must be in there. The security in the bank will be high. What have you learned? Not much. Guards, clockwork soldiers, and a lot of locked doors that can only be opened remotely. And that's all before I'd reach the vault itself. There's an intake port on the roof that leads to the bank's ventilation system. If you find enough laudanum, most of the bank's security will be dazed before you even get inside. There was a pharmacy in the district, but it's been seized by the bank. I'll see what I can find. I know how resourceful you can be. These keys you found with the eyeless leaders will lead you to whatever holds the knife. You'll also need the bank manager's key. Deal with her how you see fit. Then I'm ready. Good. I... <coughs> <clears throat> do you want me to stay? No. There's nothing you can do for me here. Go get the knife. Kill the outsider. I trust you to finish this. I will, Dowd. One way or another. You've seen more than most. What we did years ago. I've never seen Dowd so weak. Tried to take the throne. I might never see him again.
Shan Yun quits Karnaka for Tivia. Concerts canceled. That's just obvious. Maybe I should pay Theresia a visit. Yesterday, and I'll give it up for good. Better off in the pool than on a day like that. Easy. Now for the difficult part.
No maintenance activities on the top floor until further notice. Director Michaels has clients in her office. See me on the ocean running oil. Kind of fancy elevator. A control room can move the vault into two places. I need to find a way to move that thing, one way or another. Thank you. 
wonder who that was. The Sentinel is activating <sighs> protocol. Please remain calm. assignment ever. Nothing ever happens. Two coins for that cat last? Well, what? no more, thank you. Place is a dump anyway. Attention. Clerk Figueroa proves another year of life on her account today. Happy birthday, Nadine. Please go to the main conference room for some TV and bear juice and mulberry cake. Hey, Martin. Can you let me back inside for a minute? I was rushing to get out of here for my darts club meeting. Sorry, Donna. Hey, rules let are me rules. in. No exception. The author is... Stay right there. Security wants a word for you. Code D-13D. Guards to security and administration on the double. We have an uninvited guest. Hey, what happened? Code D-13D. Guards to security and administration on the double. We have an uninvited guest. Thank you. We value our reputation as much as we value your patronage. You're certain my jewels will be safe here. I assure you, oh. Michael Frank has the like to keep your secrets right where you can see them, don't you, Dolores? Oh, no, no, pardon me, Mrs. Jennings. Like to keep your secrets right where you can see them, don't you, Dolores? Oh, no, no, pardon me, Mrs. Jennings. I must deal with this. Security, and I still got to you, Dolores. I hate these things. Why are they smiling? Good. I have the vault key. What else is she hiding? They know a way into the void. Cienfuegos sent Isla's documents to the Royal Conservatory. I need to find out what he knew. The Conservatory is my next step.
the director's clockwork sentinels run their protocols on schedule. This is what I needed. Requesting entry to the security office. Code B15D. Too hot, the bath's too cold, my vest has a wrinkle. Do it yourself then if it's gotta be so bleeding perfect.
Security to the vault control room. Security to vault control. Please investigate suspicious activity. Security to the vault. Repeat, security to the vault. Robbery in progress. Security to the director's office. Repeat, security to the director's office. Robbery in progress. This has to be the one. You and I were both abandoned to uncertain futures on dangerous streets and taken in by murderers. Doubt spared your life all those years ago. But I was taught a lesson that you still haven't learned. Someone stay with you, even in the void. Give it to me. I don't have time for this. Time repeats in the same unending patterns. 4,000 years ago, this knife cut my name away. Forgotten forever. You know what it's like to lose one name and live with another. We are all made by the things that are taken from us. I've seen the people you've twisted with your poisonous magic. You know what I want. You know I'm coming for you. I know more than most. I know that time is bleeding into itself around you. I know that you have felt it, and you are searching for the places where the world has broken against the void. I know that doubt is done where you left him on your ruined ship, and you will carry that knife with you to face me at the black center of all things. Why are you doing this? Why are you talking to me now? I'm here because you are different. The Void has found you through the cracks in your broken life. And when you cut me out of it, what will remain? What will you leave behind when you walk away? What does the Outsider want from me? Doubt. Is he really gone? I have the knife. I need to get back to the Dreadful Will.
thought I heard blood flies for a second. Are you all right? What happened here? Streets should be crawling with guards by now. Nothing I can't handle. Nothing here? Let's have a look around. Bad things have happened here in the last five years than in all the years of my life. Beats me. It must have been after a big prize to make it worth the trouble. What do you think it was? Diamonds? Whatever it was. I hope it weighs them down so we can catch them. What do you think that was? Stay here. I'll, I'll just tell you what that was. Sounds lovely. We should rent another boat. Let's sometimes. ask the landers if we inspect the river like
I watched the fires burn all night. Smoke blocking out the stars, water hissing as the hull of my old ship blackened around his body. Dowd, gone at last. How many tried to kill you and came no closer than I did all those years ago? How much coin was on your head, old man? Now no one but the Void can collect. For years, I imagined the Outsider offering me his mark. Instead, he's given me the knife that made him, a weapon that can surely unmake him as well. I can't begin to understand his motives, but I know what Dowd wanted. And if he's got to wander the Void forever, maybe I can give him some measure of peace by ending this. As the dreadful whale burned to cinders, did the outsider laugh or just watch? Same as me. It's as fine a pyre as I could make. Farewell, Dowd. I'll finish what you started. I had that ship for years, and it burned away in hours. Dowd is dead, and Megan Foster died with him. One of the Islas, a painter and pharmacist, stole information about how to enter the Void. His name was Cienfuegos, and he was obsessed, just like the rest of them. But he went too far. Before the Islas killed him, he sent what he'd stolen to the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Maybe she could have helped him. He never found that out. The curator is gone, but whatever Cienfuegos sent her is still there. The Abbey of the Everyman has taken over. They've sent overseers and oracular sisters to search the place for heresy. I need to find whatever's left of the pharmacist's archive before they tear the conservatory apart. Fine day's work, brother. We need only record the heretical texts we burned today, and our task is complete. Now, where's that ledger? Here, on the bench. But don't worry. I already noted all of the burned books. <sighs> we should see if Sister Rosewood needs a hand, though. She discovered There's nothing I can say from that fire. It's all ashes. What now? I need to check that ledger and see if what I want is still here. More bizarre cures for impotence? I tell you, I've seen enough. Take what? Huh? Did you hear that someone over like there? Broken I guess. Out diary scribbles and rhymes. Nothing uh... useful. Sister Rosewind is keeping documents in the curator's office. I need to find them. Nothing here! Anything yet, brothers? It's been a long time since anyone came in through that door. Hmm. Someone looks armed and dangerous. As soon as I save enough coin, I'm retiring to Calero. Nice doing business with you. Conservatory visitors used to be my best customers. It's all yours. Enjoy. Mm. 
don't look like you. Come back next time you need some. The streets are closed on Abbey orders. I don't know, but I saw her crawl out of that open hatch in the courtyard. I believe there is now only one witch left alive in the cellar holding chamber. Have you ever encountered one of our blind sisters before, Brother Cirillo? It is very rare indeed for them to journey beyond their chapel. I only saw them once before, during the Feast of Painted Kettles by the end of Dunwall's Rat Plague. I... no, I have not. This is the first time. If I may ask, brother, surely we can manage these heretics ourselves. Sister Rosewyn personally called for an investigation into this place, and in her wisdom brought our sisters to aid in this mission. Remember that. restless hands. She should be burned in the street with the rest of the filth. Why hasn't she? It's been three days since she fell. I must send a message to the overseers to come and clean this up. I thought I... Hmm. Never mind. Overseers. We must send word to Whitecliffe as soon as our task is complete. Sister Rosemary seems agitated today. I believe it was finished by the sister. She and a few of our sisters are on the terrace now. I must join them. Of course. I understand if she is ill at ease. I am disturbed by the archive we've uncovered here. I hope we can return to our chapel soon. Brother Cardoza, Focus Sister on the Rosalind task at hand. requests your presence on the Ours terrace. Is it's about the heretic archive. We all bear she the wants you to take it. Yes.
Brother Cardoza at last. I've concluded my study of the hidden archive, especially this silver graph plate. What did you learn? Was the curator hiding secrets more dangerous than those we already burned? It is an abomination. Darkness clings to it. We must destroy it, lest it fall into less righteous hands. Show it to no one and burn its heretical stain from the world. As you wish. take a look at this with a silver graph projector. If the oracular order really can see the future, then this silver graph plate will tell me what I need to know. to the overseers to kind of clean this up. to the outsider. Overseer will want a thorough inventory of every profane item. Someone there? Oh, well. Three volumes of forbidden knowledge. The Outsider's Hand. Voices of the Dead. Enter the void, a guide to dream interpretation. Where did the witches come by these arcane texts? Oh, no! Did you, did you hear, hear someone over there? There shouldn't be anything on this part of the mountain. I just need to make the sure. North yeah, Quarry. That's where the Eyeless are getting into the void. I should keep the silver craft plate with me. What? You're not... your face! Oh. Um.
There's a darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much, but it's always there. It waits for you. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through. And that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak, somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there, protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void, a fear that grips your throat, bends your spine, but I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the void, but tonight, I'll find out if he can still bleed. This is the place, Shindere North Quarry. It shouldn't exist, but from what I can see, this place is real, at least for now. Here, the void is closest to the surface of reality. Breaking through and spilling out all the fear and power the Abbey of the Everyman tries to hide. You have uncovered more than most. What you do now will change the world. You again. You know I used to wonder if you'd speak to me. I almost wanted it. Every street kid, every desperate wretch pushed to the edge. They all wanted you to speak to them. Why didn't you? Why me, now? You know I'm here to end this. You and this disgusting cult. People have come to this place for centuries wanting many things. To elude death, to seek forbidden knowledge. They are never satisfied no matter how much they take. Not even the dead find peace here. You will find another relic of the cult's heart. A piece of whatever god came before my time. You will find the people who murdered me. When I knew them, they had names and ambitions. Now, they wander this place, their minds snared up with terrible secrets, keeping hidden the unspeakable ritual that made me what I am. Deep in the void, they put a knife to my throat and tore my name away. You have found the knife. Maybe you can find my name in the black viscera of this place. If you care to look. Why are you telling me this? What do you want? We both know how a mob can justify a murder to themselves. Who I was or what I wanted never mattered to the cultists here. I will not speak to you again. The next time we meet, you will be face to face with what was done to me all those years ago. Your mind echoes with everything that Dowd wants you to do. But I am here to say that you have a choice, Billy Lurk. Where is everyone? I hate this place already.
is that thing? Ah, that makes my eye burn. Calm yourself, Antero. You had that coming and you know it. How will you find wisdom when you ignore the simplest tenets? Seek no solace in mundane things, cast aside distractions. Your little pets were distracting your gaze from the void. Where's the harm? I was just feeding the rats and talking to them. Like the lonely rat boy from the stories. We're not in a story. The void needs you. I don't want to go to the void anymore. Face your death! Where did you disappear to? Nothing. Hmm. What? I'll take a look around. Is huh. someone there? No luck. Let's search over there then. Why do they look like that? What goes on here? Sank beneath the sun. I still feel the eye's presence in my mind. Yes, yes. The dead see with such depth. The eye of the dead god sees all our desires. One day we too shall see it.
May the void blacken your eyes. of the ritual home. All of you have appointed yourselves to a better existence, lifting up from the muck and the dank warrens of the ignorant of society. You see the world for what it is, discontent with illusions. Only you see the truth. Let us remember. flesh. What must my work focuses on this from the outsider is necessary to maintain the hermeneutic space. You'll have to be much more specific than that. Inside the ritual hold, meeting the outsider face to face. I didn't like <gasps> that. I'm going to have a look around. Is someone asking for trouble? Oh, no luck. Let's search over there then. Part of me since this all started. It's cold. Dead. But it still sees.
can see everything. The void. Like looking under the waves and into the sea. Search over there, then. Me. Always. Don't you know who you're dealing with? Outsider's bone! Face your death! How? I lost her. Shut I can't let that happen again. She has again. to be here somewhere. Done vanished. She has to be here somewhere. Blood must be delicious.
hear their fingernails the inside the wall. Stripping it away. Look at you. This is what the Abbey tried to hide. This is what the Eyeless want to know about. I'm at the center of the void itself. And you're not even some kind of horror I need to face down and fight. You're at my mercy. But you've always been at the mercy of bad people, haven't you? You said I had a choice. Well, I'm here to make it. I've seen what you wanted me to see, you black-eyed bastard. It doesn't change a thing. This is how it ends. This is how it always ends. I see. I see. There are no choices left. You've cut away the knot at the center. The rest will fall to pieces. The world will finally change. The world might change, but we won't. Killers never change. is what had to happen. Maybe it's not fair, but I can't think of much that is. I know the guilty never get what they deserve. I know the black-eyed bastard never did. But with that knife in his heart, I've even the score. He died for the people twisted by his magic, the cults, witches, and killers, for all the madness and chaos they caused, for Dowd, for me. And after all this, I'm still just a murderer. There's so much doubt, but there are some things I know are true. The outsider is no more, and with that, the world will change in ways none of us can know. But the void is still there, echoing just beyond what you can see. And there's no one left to say who will and won't be touched by its magic.